Uh, who, who that is? <laughs> What's up with y'all? It's your boy Jordy back at you with a not bleasy but a video. Today I want to talk about uh or basically today I want to update y'all on something, you know, talk about my mom a little bit. Try what you doing? Get down. Anyway, today I want to talk to y'all a little bit about my mom, man. Basically update y'all on that. First off, I finally heard from her in like six months, y'all. It's been six months since I talked to my mom. And I finally talked to her uh, not too long ago. And I've been meaning to make this video for pretty much for like a week now. And I never did. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I haven't been so, I guess, consistent this past weekend. And so, because I was like, damn, I really need to talk about this. I need to update people. I need to get past it. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop procrastinating. You know, I've been procrastinating. I've been putting this off for like a long time. I'm sitting on like two videos videos that I could post for y'all but I was like damn I need to get this out of the way you know so I talked to my mom uh, maybe last week or so for the first time in six months um, for those who don't know now if you are OG of me and Brooke you know what I'm saying from the Jordy Will channel all onto even this channel you know so she in some of these vlogs y'all know my mom y'all know the OG OG mama Carrie you know what I'm saying a lot of my OGs on here a lot of my day ones man y'all know my mom y'all know who or y'all know of my mom y'all know who she is and everything and I know so many of y'all been asking about it so many of people been like damn you don't go see her you know what I'm saying why she ain't in the videos no more this and that it's like she just disappeared it really takes so much of me to talk about stuff like this because i'm not this type of person i'm not i'm not a venting type of person i'm not the type of person to just come to anybody with my problems you know so i'm just not that type of person which ain't nothing wrong with going to people with your problems it's just something that i've learned uh basically throughout my life and it's probably only it's probably can only apply to me maybe you know so i'm sure some other people like that that's the same that feel the same but in my opinion when you vent to people or you come to people about your problems complain this and that you know saying about your problems because everything by the way, everything that happens in life can be controlled. It, you you have a choice with everything. You know what I'm saying? It's always a solution to everything. You know what I'm saying? It's always a solution. But when you go to people, and like I said, this is all this is what I've learned from uh you know from me going through my 22 years of life. When you vent to people and tell people all your problems, you know what I'm saying? You just expose yourself completely. People can can use that shit against you. People can absolutely use it against you. You know what I'm saying? Every problem that you have, a nigga, as soon as, soon as something happens, somebody can throw it at you. You know what I'm saying? And just like I said, use it against you. So therefore, I don't really go to people to <laughs> talk talk to about my problems and stuff like that. You know, or just personal, real super personal things that I got in life. If it if it's like something, you know, uh I guess if it's something that like not too extreme, then I, I usually go ahead, you know, I usually go ahead and put it out there. But for the most part, I don't really talk about too much of me. And I feel like I need to sometimes, but to a certain to a certain limit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the super extreme stuff I probably will never talk about. I know just last week or maybe two weeks ago two three weeks ago um and i was gonna vlog this and this is not too extreme but then again it's kind of extreme but i was wanting to bring y'all a little bit more into my life and get to know who i am other than my jordy will you know saying my i don't want to say my my one personality or that that one side because that's not all i show y'all i show y'all different sides of me you know so y'all see me all different ways but i try to i try to put that one person out the most you know what I'm saying jordy will but I wanted to bring y'all a little bit more into my life a little bit and the things that I do, you know, sorry, the things that I go through in a way. So what I was saying is about like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, my dad actually had heart surgery for the second time. This is the second time they had to go into his heart, put like a stent and stuff in, in there. And uh, like I said, I was gonna vlog it. I was gonna vlog it for y'all and uh, bring y'all with me, but I, I never got around to it. And then I was like, man, I need to stop doing shit like that. I need to let people know, you know what I'm saying? Cause some of y'all really care about us. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all really, really look at us like we family and we are, you know what I'm saying? So so, and I, I couldn't be thankful. I couldn't be more thankful is what I mean. <laughs> and uh, I was like, man, I need to start, I guess, getting a little bit more personal with uh, who I am. Now, what I don't like to do is reflect on the past because my, in my opinion, this shit doesn't happen. There's nothing that I can do. Nothing that I can do about what has already happened. Only thing that, only thing that matters to me is really present and future. You know what I'm saying? Really future more than anything, but definitely present. That's probably more important than future, honestly, what happens right now. So I don't really reflect on the past. So I, I know I got a crazy background and it's, you know, I'm definitely open to talk about different shit like this, but you know, if people was to ask me and this and that, but I choose not to, you know what I'm saying?
But yeah, so I'm gonna try to get a little personal with y'all today and uh, update y'all on my mom and her situation, everything that's going on. So for all the people, you know what I'm saying? And off top, I can I can name people. Uh, off top, let me think. Uh, my boy Malachi, my boy BBG. Off top, uh, it's some more y'all. I know it's some more y'all, but I can't right now. I can't. I'm rushing right now. I gotta get ready to go. But I wanted to talk to y'all about this before I did because like I said, I've been putting it off. When I didn't vlog my dad's situation, I think the only person that knows about that is uh, Matthew. Matthew Cherry, you know what I'm saying? I think I told him. But after that happened and I was like, damn, I really didn't. I guess document this in a way, you know what I'm saying? Not saying necessarily saying I have to, but I didn't do it for y'all. And that's that was my original plan. Just plans got really messed up. I planned a lot of stuff. But yeah, after that happened and I realized that I didn't vlog or anything documented for y'all, I was like, man, I gotta stop doing stuff like this when when I guess extreme stuff, or not even extreme, but things that have to do with me when it comes to my real, actual personal life, I should probably damn, nigga. <laughs> that shit kinda hurt. <laughs> But I should, I feel like I should start talking to y'all about it just a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Just let people in, not all the way, but let y'all, cause y'all, like I said, y'all part of my family. Anyway, let me shut up and stop talking, let me get to it. Uh, My mom, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, she's, she locked up right now. You know what I'm saying? She locked up again. Like I said, some of my day ones, y'all know when she was going through all this, the first time, you know, it was, she was locked up, this and that, and then she got out for a while, we was cool and everything was good, but then she ended up getting into some trouble again, I think. I'm not gonna say what's going on or what, like, what the issue is and stuff like that. I'm not gonna talk about that. That. But I will say she does have a um, court date March 6th. So I'm gonna figure out exactly what's about to happen. You know, not to be honest, you know, to be completely real with y'all, my mom, she could probably end up going, you know what I'm saying, down the road for real. You know, the first time I will say this, I can't remember if she's been asking me, the first time my mom uh, got in trouble, she was, she had some damn years on the plate, you know, and she probably still do, but she, uh, she ended up, you know, prevailing in a way and getting through that, you know what I'm saying? But this time, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, I'm going to find out March 6th, but, um, I finally talked to my mom on the phone. She called me randomly. I almost didn't answer this number. And I, matter of fact, I didn't answer the number. It called me, uh, twice. The first time I was like, I don't know. Cause I usually don't answer it from now on. I don't answer numbers. I don't know. That's just what it is. If I don't have you saved in my phone as a, a contact, or I don't know you about to call me, you know, whether it's like a little place, this and that, if I don't don't have that then i'm not gonna answer pretty much that's just how it go because i feel like it's just not important i feel like if you call in my phone you must be important enough to me to know who you are to save your number in my phone you feel me anyway she called me one time i let it ring i was in zaxby drive through by the way like i said this was like maybe a week ago i just been putting this off but yeah i was uh in the zaxby drive through and i was ordering my foot in this and i got this number from this call and i was like damn i don't know that number so i just you know denied it pretty much and then it called again i was like okay let me answer it because i feel like i, I feel for some reason i really felt like i needed to answer this phone I don't know why, and like I said, I don't never answer phone calls that, that I don't know. That was a random ass number from Anderson, you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, I ended up answering, and then here it go. My mama, she yelling like, hey, crying and shit, because she, it was the first time she talked to me in like half a year, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, like maybe six or seven months. But uh, yeah, it's been that long, so she finally, uh, you know, she was getting all through her emotions. I'm not that, I'm, a, I'm emotional, but I'm not that type of emotional person, you know what I'm saying? I'm more, when I'm emotional, I'm more to myself. You know, I don't really be all out there. My mom shit a different story. She all ooh crying and shit. She, you know, which I understand. I'm just, I don't know. I, I, I tell Britt sometimes, like, I guess I ain't got no heart. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I know I do. I know I got a heart. <laughs> I'm a good person, you know. I, I try to be at least. I really do try to be. But yeah, she called me, you know what I'm saying? We finally got to talk. We finally got to chop it up, this and that. And uh she's doing good. She wanted me to tell everybody what's up with it, you know, what's up? She doing good. She was just telling me everything. Just give me all the information. I wrote all her information down because like I said, when my mom got locked up, when I when y'all basically when y'all I stopped seeing my mom that was the last time that i saw her you know what i'm saying but i was still talking to her and stuff but then eventually like i stopped talking to her and i was like damn i didn't know what was going on and then she when i talked to her the other night she finally told me she thought we was mad at her you know what i'm saying she thought we like hated her and i'm like damn i ain't even talked to you you know what i'm saying like i ain't know uh i never knew what was going on literally i thought my i ain't i ain't think she disappeared i know my mom i know she always good she pretty much always been able to hold her own you know what i'm saying but i just stopped talking to her and i was like damn what's going on so i finally talked to my sister and my sister and then my aunt all them they tell me like oh she in jail now this and that so this whole time i didn't even know you know so i ain't know until a little bit after which i ain't gonna say it was like too long after but i ain't know till like a little bit after they say something blah 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 she went over something this and that but i ain't like i, said, I ain't gonna get into it but yeah i finally found out and then i, I still like even when even when they told me that nobody even my sister nobody knew nothing nobody knew where she was at nobody knew how to like get in contact with her only thing we knew is that she was locked up you know what i'm saying which i talked about this a while ago in my 
my vlogs and I mean in one of my live streams or something like that when I found out that my mom was locked up but yeah nobody knew where she was at you know what I'm saying I ain't found out till the other day or till the time that I talked to her on the phone <laughs> she was like I'm this and that like so I wrote all her information down a little notepad and shit so I could like send her something because she she really wants us to send something I'm not too much into the cards and stuff but just like my boy Malachi say he say he say it's like Christmas when you in there you know what I'm saying when you get a little a letter or something written to you you know, to for like a whole six months, seven months, eight months, however long it was, I ain't talked to her, I ain't seen her, I ain't know what the hell was going on. So I'm like, damn. So finally, it's crazy. Finally, and she says she she never called my number because my sister told her that I got a new number, but I never got a new number. I just ended up getting a new phone. So I guess that's when my sister got confused. So my mom, she never called that number, which she had my number the whole time. That's crazy. And um, I know my aunt hit me up on Facebook not too long ago, and she uh was telling me some more information, and I gave her my address because my mom didn't know my address but come to find out when i talked to her she had my address the whole time but she thought we moved again because i don't know i really don't know gossip is a bitch man i don't know why people go to different sources to hear shit like go to the source and figure it out you know i'm not saying that my mom could do that i'm just saying in general like that's like gossip you know that's how like the the truth gets like stretched like that you know what i'm saying it's still the truth but it's like that you know what i'm saying instead of like this <laughs> you know but yeah she never she never wrote us a letter she never called me or anything because she thought we had a new number new address and she thought she we hated her or not even hate her but just was mad you know i ain't gonna say hey my mom she be exaggerated she be like i thought y'all hated me you know so like because we she thought we was mad at her for getting in trouble again because every time i saw my mama i'd be like listen just stay out of trouble you know what i'm saying you got everything that you need you got everything going for your job you got your own whip you got a you know what i'm saying you got a crib you got everything that you need so just stay out of trouble stay away from the people that you was fucking with but my mom she just i don't know i think she just be getting caught up with the wrong people and that's what it is you know and literally that's what this is situation is but yeah man i finally talked to her uh like i said i just i really wanted to update y'all on this and i really wanted to like move past this y'all i i might I, I i feel like i'm not like i guess flow talking you know what i'm saying i feel like I, I i keep having to pause and this and that but i don't know how to talk about stuff like this man so it really took a lot of me it really took a lot out of me to even get this to y'all because this is not the type of person that i you know i just i'm not i'm not that type of person i'm not a i'm an open book but i'm not a i have i guess i have a still a still a closed door somewhere in my my head and my body and my mind whatever i just some stuff i don't let be known you know what i'm saying and this is not one of those things that i wouldn't let be known this is just almost one of those things that i wouldn't let be known and it just almost been just sitting on my shoulder and i'm like damn i really need to let my people know you know because y'all been asking about it so for all the and all the new people you know what I'm saying? all the day ones know what's up but all the new people uh my mom, old, old videos, if y'all want to check them out, man. My mom is a trip. She's funny. Some of it is where I get, like, my laugh. I get my laugh kind of from my mom. Y'all know the laugh I'm talking about, too. Not no, <laughs> not no laugh like that. I'm talking about when I'm really laughing. The shit that sounds like SpongeBob. I know I do it. I know I do it. But uh, I can't help it. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, I really wanted to update y'all. I wanted to let y'all know what was going on, man. Uh, another thing is I don't really, I don't like coming to people about my problems because I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me. I'm not that type of person like i said people can use it against you and i don't want people feeling sorry for me either you know what i'm saying like I, I would take prayers but i don't want any type of sorrow because i feel like things are supposed to happen that's what makes us you know what i'm saying like everything happens for an absolute reason i promise you whether it makes you better or it bounces you back for you to come back but always you know as long as you get through it then you you know what I'm saying you caught a dub you feel me of course there's so much more learning that i i have to do and i'm only 22 years old so i got a lot of shit i got i gotta go through but when it comes to like negative negative stuff you know i don't really want to talk about it i choose to tell y'all more positive things unless it's something that i can't really help and it's like a certain situation i gotta talk about it. but for the most part you know i don't want i don't want to bring my i guess my issues my personal things that's going on in my life um out to the public because I, like i said i know the public can use it against me they can throw it at me in all different ways but i'm slowly getting out of that you know in a way i just don't want people feeling sorry for me but yeah man so that's uh that's really what it was it, like i said it i know it took me forever like I, this has been thing i've been thinking about this video for like maybe a week or two or just right after my dad had surgery so he had surgery like two or three weeks ago so either a week or two yeah i've been like man i really need to do this so i'm glad that i finally got through it you know and i'm glad that uh if you was interested in even hearing what i had to say you know or for the people that care like i appreciate it because it's like i said it's, it's hard for me to talk about shit like this only time i talk about stuff like this is if it's on a live stream or if i'm in a real conversation with somebody this and that or even in a vlog if it's a real conversation like towards the end of my videos i like to get almost kind of serious like I like to talk about something all sometimes not all the time but I like to talk about something to try to help somebody you know because I know I done been through some things so if I done been through it I know I can pass it to the next person and help them get through it you know what I'm saying because that's what it's all about it's literally all about steps 
Shit, you you give me one, I'm gonna put that step right here, nigga, and then you climb, and then you give me one, I'm gonna put it up. You know what I'm saying? We just that way we can all get up there. We all can eat. But yeah, man, I really, I truly, truly appreciate y'all. I truly, truly love y'all, and uh, my mom does too. She she appreciates, she loves y'all, man. Like I said, I got some videos on the way, man. So please make sure y'all be on the lookout for them. Turn on them post notifications so you don't miss anything. All right, like the video if you want to like the video. That's on you, man. Uh, I just really wanted to let people that actually cared know about what's going on and uh and that's pretty much it <laughs> you know what I'm saying now I'm about to go to work so y'all be safe be great stay great man make sure y'all drink y'all H2O you know what I'm saying a little bit of water <laughs> and uh yeah I will see y'all in the next video man all right yeah all right <laughs> so I feel like I done rambled and said so much shit and I probably didn't when I go back to edit it edit it I'm probably gonna be like damn you know you got you got your point across but I feel I still feel like I didn't get my point across I don't know why that's that see that's another reason like that just goes to show that you know, I just really don't talk about, you know, stuff like this. So I don't really, you know, do this. But I, I feel like I need to open up more and I'm going to. You know, when stuff like this happens, I... I promise to let y'all know if it's something serious, you know, I'm gonna always let y'all know from now on, you know, that's why I did this. That's why I did that. Um, if my dad ever has surgery again, uh, God forbid, but if he does, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know, I promise. If anything ever happens to me in Brooke or anything, you know, I'm gonna let y'all know. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. And uh, to sum up what I said, basically, my mom's in jail. She has a court date March 6th. I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video March 6th, but I'm gonna let y'all know what happens, okay? Uh, she has a court date March 6th. I'm gonna find out what happens. Hopefully, they don't delay or change the day or something like because they do that a lot you know it's, it's possible but uh yeah i'm gonna update y'all and let y'all know man and uh, we'll see what happens so y'all be safe man y'all be good i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video